Hi guys, this is gsnl.com and I'm here with the game Monument Valley 2. It's available on iOS for now and you can get it in the App Store for around 5 or 6 dollars. It debuted on June 5th at the WWDC 2017 Apple's conference and just like the predecessor, it's an architectural puzzle with MC Escher inspired labyrinths and I'm going to have a look at them. Out of the 14 levels available, I've played 6 and I'm having a blast with the game. The first Monument Valley was huge, it was featured in House of Cards, it got several Game of the Year awards, it had the incredible soundtrack, atmosphere, message, everything. This time we're introduced to Ro, a mother, and her daughter who remains nameless, and of course, the same superb styling. And we also meet the little one, the daughter. It's all about the connection between mother and daughter and sometimes you will use both of them for the puzzles. They will go in tandem and they will do the same actions even though they're on separate bridges. Now I have to press this button here. I have to admit the game feels much simpler than the first Monument Valley. For example, uh, throughout the six levels I never got stuck, not once. Meanwhile, in Monument Valley 1, I found myself stuck at about level 4 and had to look for clues online. Now here, let's see what we can do. Courtesy of a simple optical illusion, you can go around here. So folks familiar with modern art and architecture will probably know a few elements here. We got the impossible triangle, impossible trident, the Penrose stairs. So if you know those, you're going to love this. This should be perceived as a game. People have been saying it's less of a game and more of an art experience. That's what Monument Valley 2 is all about. Ascending and descending stairs, impossible labyrinths and other such things. Okay, now we can rotate this and go here. It's all about optical illusion, 3D, mazes, labyrinths and pieces that can be rotated in a variety of formats. MC Escher, beautiful architecture and all that is here. Plus a very relaxing music, everything is zen here. And we can also descend stairs. Sadly, we do not have uh, non-playable characters. Uh, in Monument Valley 1 we had some crows and some menacing characters. Well, those are gone now. Nobody is threatening us anymore. And the fact that you can uh, make the mother and daughter cooperate reminded me a lot of the game Link Twin, if you know it, from a Romanian company called Amber, well, that seems a bit stolen from them and it's something to look into if you ask me. The game comes from us too. The predecessor has been featured in House of Cards a couple of years ago. And let's see what's happening now. Each level is comprised of a few sub-levels which make you pass through pretty interesting, although gloomy, areas. Another thing that I'm not very happy with here, I remember that in the first Monument Valley, the things you did, your action, always made the environment make sound. So, uh, one touch or tap and one movement of architecture triggered a musical sound. That happens more rarely here. Okay, so pretty intuitive, going down the stairs, going to that shiny button, as I told you before, it's a very easy game. I'm guessing that the 14 levels can be done in about one hour and a half, if you're really good. So you're paying six dollars for one and a half hour of art. People may say that they want to pay that money to go to a museum. This is basically a museum-like experience on mobile. Sadly, there is not much of a game here in this game. I know that's weird to hear, but if you play a game, you're playing it to actually enjoy gaming, not just look at art and randomly tap. Who knows, maybe with an update. I remember that the updates for Monument Valley 1 increased the level of difficulty. And that may happen here. The story is pretty slim here, not very impressive. The atmosphere is better. Okay, so words of wisdom, fear is the lesson of uh, teaching your child to be on his own and stand on his own two feet in life. The artwork is superb, nobody can deny that. The game is relaxing, so much so that people have been playing it to fall asleep. And it's best enjoyed on a big screen, I'll be honest. The iPhone 7 does not do it justice and I recommend you play it on an iPad. 
if possible, an iPad Pro to enjoy its beautiful allure. Very sensitive experience, as I told you before, I played 6 levels out of 14, I'm about halfway through the game and I found less emotion here than in the first Monument Valley, sadly. It remains a very good game and a pretty nice piece of art, but I have to admit I was expecting just a tiny bit more. So here at gsnon.com we're giving this game an 8.6 out of 10. If you really like the first, you should play this one. And uh, the thing that the game has going for it is, is that it's unique. Even though people have been trying to copy it, they haven't managed to. They only copied the style, not the interesting architecture it came up with. And if you're into architecture and abstract things, you'll love it two times more. So this has been it from gsn1.com. 8.6 out of 10 for the Monument Valley 2 title available on iOS right now and it's priced at around 6 bucks. Bye bye!